Okay, measure 17 to the end. There's just a few ideas in here. Measure 17, make sure you're playing actually mezzo piano and not mezzo forte. I would tend to play louder um, when I was rehearsing this. I put all the accents in my right hand because my right hand is more consistent. And for the dotted eighth, 16th, eighth note rhythm, I would use a sticking that goes right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. That is a very consistent sticking for me. Give that one a try, that might work. Measure 20, keep your ears peeled on, tw or measure 20 be three and four. Uh, the piano to mezzo piano is a shading. It's a, just a very gradual phrasing. It doesn't need to be overdone. So in other words, make sure that mezzo piano again is mezzo piano and not more. Then measure 21 and 22 are, is my second least favorite thing to practice from this etude. This one would also mess with my precision and in particular my timing. We have uh, six beats worth of multiple bounce roll and then a strict rhythm on beat four. This is the one I would practice a ton if I was auditioning for Allstate. I came up with a small exercise for this. I would roll for three um, beats getting quieter and then I'd roll for three beats getting louder. At first, I wouldn't even worry if I was playing the dynamics marked. First step, it doesn't matter. Three beats down, three beats back up. I'll show you what this sounds like. So first step, do that. This will help you with your timing and getting used to switching between different dynamic levels and keeping that roll consistent. The second thing you want to do is put the original dynamics back in. You start at mezzo forte, drop it down to piano, and then you finish at forte. So I'll play this exercise again. I'll play just those six beats and then I'll stop. So the challenge there is to be able to hit all those dynamics. And even right there, I played it like three or four times, and they're all slightly different. With your practicing, each time should hone in on those dynamics even more precisely. The roll in 22 can be tied to beat four. That's what I did in the initial playing of this piece. It's really up to you if you want to tie it or not. I like the idea of tying the roll over because it continues the crescendo from the downbeat of 22 all the way to the downbeat of 23. It creates this unbroken kind of like push over the cliff at the very end, which I think is really effective. So I do time my rollover. And the last thing is beat four, you have four notes, make them progressively louder. One, two, three, four. It should have a lot of pop and a lot of excitement at the end. So keep those dynamics in mind. Okay, so these were a bunch of musical issues and practice strategies. Hopefully these will be useful to you for all your snare drum playing, and in particular this one. Just a couple closing ideas uh, about preparation. One, record yourself. Every single time you practice, you should record yourself. You can't always trust your ears when you're playing. Make a recording, even just a quick one, and listen back to it. Then go in back and forth. That way you'll hear the things you do well, and you'll hear the things which you need to improve on. Play for people as often as possible. Audition etudes should not be uh, manufactured and then played once at the, uh, at the audition. No, bring people in every single day. Every time you get a chance to practice, try to get somebody to listen to it. Musicians, non-musicians, teachers, anybody. Just pull them in there, say, do you have 45 seconds? And then you play it. That'll help get the butterflies out of your system. So the day of an audition, you're just ready to go and turn on that focus. Uh, the last idea I have for you is to play this cold a few times, maybe even during the week running up to the audition. Playing cold for me is no warm-up, I'm probably running from something else, and I'll pick up the sticks, I'll turn on my focus, and then I'll play through the etude. This will help you be able to switch on and off the, that high level of concentration that's necessary for precise snare drum playing. Um, all right, great. Well, I wish you luck in your all-state audition, and I hope these ideas have been useful.